Welcome to another video with Drew Brew. Today I'm going to be talking about slicer manipulation. I don't know if there's a term for that or if it's often used, but uh, I've recently run into some problems where the slicer would do things in a way that I think can be improved. Like, there's a lot of improvements. I wish I could manually edit slicer spots. I don't know if that's an option out there, but it's not in my slicer. So I just wanted to mention, guys, I actually did a time lapse uh, for the slicer manipulation file. However, that was not the best idea just because the time lapse shows my printer head moving uh, at one second intervals. So that was not the intention I had. My intention was to show you the difference between how the slicer moves on a part designed for slicer manipulation and on a part that just is designed. So I'm gonna put that in there right now instead of the time lapse. And this is just printing the base layer so that you have something to hold when you're done because you know you can use this as a reference because it's a tolerance test. All right, check this out. Do you see that? It's going back and forth on these prints for the most part, wasting a bunch of extra time. And sometimes it does a good one, but like overall, it's just like, what are you doing, boy? Like you could save so much time. And very often, I just I just wish that I could manually edit like where the printer head is going to go. But I don't know. My program can't do that. Maybe yours can. Uh, reach out to me and let me know. I'll buy that program. But uh, in my program, I can't do that in the slicer. And now check this one out. This is manipulated with design. It just goes smoothly everywhere it needs to go. I mean, check that out. That is just a beauty. Like, when I watch this, I smile just because of how awesome and time-saving. And just like, on the engineering point of view, I'm not an engineer, but I'm like a self-made one. Uh, but this is just pure awesomeness. I and mean, look at that. If all your designs could print uh, seamlessly like this, you know, 3D printing would be like 10 times faster than it is right now. I mean, look at that. There's just so much time being wasted. When you could just do these, you know, in, in single little movements. And this is why it's so important to have uh, you know, a lot of thought go into your design process. I mean, thinking is, is I don't know what the video is, I wouldn't say it's free and cheap and easy, but it's useful. You know, when you think before you do something, it makes your outcome usually much better. Look at the difference. Look at this just non-stop movement. Everything's direct. It's just awesome. And I do realize that you can't do this on every design. But when you know about it, you can implement it in those designs that, that can use it. So it's just great. And I've actually I've tested this with uh, multiple designs, but I thrown them out just because they didn't look as good as this one. But uh, you know, the manipulation it does work. However, I have not tested with everything, obviously, but with the tests that I have done, it works really well, as you can see. This is one of the tolerance tests that I have created with slicer manipulation. And let me just show you how it started. Uh, so first of all, what I had was people were having issues printing my bearings. So I set out uh, to do a tolerance test so that you can see if you can print the bearing or not. So this is basically uh, the second version of my design. The first one was just flat, and I threw that one away. So, but anyways, this is the first one. See, it's tiny. It's a tiny tolerance test, is what I call it. After that, I came up with this one. So this is like a circle. Uh, these are all point, point zero 0.02 increments in millimeters. And uh, as you can see, the slicer made all these ridges, which are Really ugly. I hate. I hate that. This design was okay, but I thought, hey, maybe someone wanted to see from inside out. See, so millimeter tiny going to outer, and then this one is bigger to smaller. After that, I'm like, well, what if I want both of these? Uh, so I, I kind of cut these in half and put them together, and I had like a half half. But you know, it's kind of ugly. So I was thinking, why don't I make this? So this basically has both the tests in one piece. So you know, the bigger to smaller and uh, smaller to bigger but the way it printed I mean it's just kind of ugly it's like it would print one line then go like print this way 
and go back this way, print another one, then go back this way, sometimes sometimes it would stay one. But I'm just thinking that's horrible. It's a waste of time. You can save a lot of time on printing if you think about what you make. So that's where it goes back to this one. If you look over there, there's little, uh, on, on the edges, there's like a you know, little attachment there. You know, like an oval shape, whatever. I don't know what it's called. But uh, this basically just goes to show you uh, from the research I've done as well, that you can manipulate the slicer into doing what you want if you have the right design. So a little bit of forethought and extra work in the beginning will save you a bunch of time if you plan on paying more than one of these. Like for example, if I needed, let's say a thousand of these and you know, the printer was printing this specific way, I would probably take uh, maybe, this rough estimate, maybe lose 20% I need to print in time, okay? However, if you do it this way, you can gain that 20% in time, and you can print a thousand of these much faster. So, that's just my little video on slicer manipulation, and you know, to give you some inspiration, uh, that maybe when you're designing something, think about how the slicer behaves, how the printer behaves, and you can use that to your advantage, all right? Also, just wanted to throw it out there before I go. If you like what I'm doing, uh, like and subscribe and share my videos. And if you feel generous, say, you know, give me a donation. I do this stuff for free just because I love it so much. But, you know, I, I can't do everything for free. I hope you guys have a great day and keep on printing.